I've got five o'clock on the hour. I'd like to call this meeting to order. September 28, 2023. I'd like to ask uh, Jeff to lead us in a word of prayer, please. Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today, Lord, to uh, discuss the business of Hartford. Lord, I ask that you be with each and every one of us, Lord, as we try to discern the will for our citizens and for our city. Lord, we ask that you uh, continue to watch over us, keep us all safe, be with our families, Lord, keep them safe and healthy and well. Lord, we pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <coughs> okay, before you, you have the minutes of the last meeting. After reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read. Second. First by Mary Bell, second by Stacia. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, Tara could not make it tonight, but she did give us some information on the property that was discussed at the last meeting. And it says the pr pr proposed donation property from Gracie Morton was ran back to 1875. The council can go ahead and conditionally accept the property and recommendations and report from the city attorney once the title is re reserved. So if you all wish to go forward on that property, um, she will further see that done. You need a motion for that? Yes. To make the motion we proceed to acquire that property. Second. Okay. Okay. First and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, and and she was she did work with Rachel on a lot of issues today on on the water stuff. So she did spend a lot of time in here today. Okay. Um, we went back to when? 18... 1875. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Um, before you have the financial reports. After reviewed, I will ask for a motion to accept the financial reports as read. That's bank statements, income statements, and account payables. I make a motion to accept no, second. the finance. Yeah. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Um, in old business, we have the water policy that we done the first reading on. Um, well, actually, this, we're just one change of policies. Okay. And everybody has not handed out copies. Okay. Let's get up this is the copy of the updated version of it. Um, Rachel went with Tara on all the details, so just updating their policy. Yeah, so basically this is just the update that they've been working on. Uh, we'll need a motion on Will that. Will this be included in the uh, handbook? And, or is this part of the ordinance for this? Yeah, this complies with the ordinance. So as it is written now, there's no changes to the ordinance from anything we have in the policy. I didn't hear then. The everything that is on the policies and procedure handout that you have, yes, none of it requires our current ordinance to be updated. Okay. So all we're asking is to update the policy. Do you want to, Rachel? Do you want to? So that is like a handbook for me, not a day job. So that just gives me something to go back. When I have early customers, I can go back to policies and stuff that we've been doing. It's just now in writing. Okay. Does we're this need any kind of motion or anything? Yes. We're not going to. Do what? How are we going to stick to these proposed written rules with the dates and everything? Because here to before there were some mayors that would override those being done. No, I've been I've been letting them do their job. Okay. All right. I'm staying out of it. 
Okay. That's the way it needs to be ran, and I'm staying out of it. All right. This actually will help Rachel to be able to, if the citizen wants to see a copy of why she's saying that she's charging a hundred dollars. This states why she's yeah. changing, and it backs her up. Okay. This also gives me the ability to close out accounts that are delinquent by 60 days. So if they're on shut off list for two months, then their account gets closed out, the deposit gets applied, and then we move on. So we're not racking up minimum bill just to have an active account. So we can get some of the delinquent accounts out. Well, I'm saying this mainly so all of us sitting up here at this table don't get a crying neighbor and we come up here saying, oh, can't you do something? I've entrusted them to do their job and I'm not going to undermine them of what they do. So it's, it's going to be stick. I make okay. a motion that we accept the new collection policy and procedure in writing. So that needs to be worded. I have a first. I second that. Second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. 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 Pulls like side. Motion carries. All right. Thank you all. And I appreciate your hard work on that. Thank you. Okay. Um, going on down the list. The Gillespie Street project. Um, since the last meeting, I have talked to the hospital. They've agreed to pay the $10,000 on this. Um with that being said, we have MRA money, LGEA money available for the roads. So that would leave us around $5,281.93 to be taken out of occupational. So with the blessings of the council, I'd like to move this project on. Um, we, Jeff did discuss with the judge, um, maybe if there's something later on, maybe we can get some more money out of the county as well. But I feel like it's important that we go on and get this project done. I agree. You need a motion? Yes. I make the motion that we move using that money. To I'll second. First by Mary Bell, second by Tony Repro. All in favor say aye. 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 And that I is. Would, I, I would like to give them a little brief of what me and the judge did talk about. Yep, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, so I did meet with him uh, Friday or so after our last meeting. Uh, it w I, I felt like it went pretty good. Uh, he, he, he explained a, a lot that the county has actually backed the hospital on, on the project and things. Uh, he did make a statement that he would go and discuss more with the hospital, Tony Ward, and uh, I, I can't think of the new lady's name. Shelly Shelly. Shelly, yes. Shelley. And uh, ask for them to provide a little bit additional funding. If uh, they couldn't provide more, then he would be willing to go to the uh, county court and ask for additional funding from there as well. Of course, he couldn't make any promises, right. but he, he did suggest or did make a comment that he would talk to both of those. So I, I, I left that. there feeling like it was a good meeting. Yeah. Good uh, so uh, that's what happened between the judge and I. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Moving on down to the second reading of the ordinance 2023-04 water and sewer tapping. Um, Let me read it. Yes, please. An ordinance of the City of Hartford, Kentucky amending portions of ordinance number 2014-02 regarding the schedule of rates and charges for use of the water and sewer services and facilities of the combined and consolidated municipal water and sewer system. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any questions on this? If not, I'll ask for a motion to accept this ordinance as read for the second reading. I make a motion that we accept it. Yeah, I'm going to take Jerry. He's been quiet. <laughs> I'll second. Second by Mouth over here, it's hard to get in the front of my <laughs> You gotta be I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Holds like side motion carries. Thank you. All right. 
Moving on down to the employee handbook. So we talked about the policy at the last meeting. Um, Lisa, do you care to elaborate on that a little bit there? Basically, it's... Yeah. The, uh, when we actually got back in contact with KLC and, and updating our handbook, they increased our quote from 5000 which is what the council has already approved, to 6300 And they said there was uh, nothing they could do about that because the increase of $1,300 is due to the travel, which is increased by IRS rates. And so we need approval for the additional $1,300 above the original 5000 to become out of occupational tax. And when I went through the numbers, the $1,300 is truly travel <coughs> expense. They will come down here and present the handbook to the employees, and they will be responsible for that handbook to stay current for four years. For four years? Four years. Okay. I'm going to make a motion. Did, Go ahead. Do you, you have an end date as to when we might receive the first copy, or it'll be finalized? No, I do not. It would have to go through... Uh, voting of uh, the council, I and mean, before that we go through approval of Tara, and then before that, within and I'm going backwards here, is going through approval of the mayor. And there's a lot of stuff that we need to upgrade, update. Um, it hasn't been done since 2009, so they've passed the buck on to us, and I feel like it's important that we get everything up to date. It is. I make a motion that we spend the additional thirteen hundred dollars for the travel fees for KLC. I second. Seconded. I second it. All right, I've got a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Holds like sign, motion carries. Thank you all for that. Okay. In in new business, the first reading in uh, ordinance twenty twenty three dash zero five Adam Pellum. Taxes. Um, Jeff, do you care to read that one? Yeah. An ordinance le leveling and for random taxes for general municipal purposes for the fiscal year of January 1, 2023 through December 31, 2023 on all taxable property within the taxing jurisdiction of the City of Hartford on each $100 of fiscal year 23. I said assessed valuation as follows. On real property, 38.3 cents. Tangible and personal property, 83.3 cents. Motor watercraft, 22.8 cents, including real and personal property of public service companies. Thank you. So basically everything is remaining the same. There is no, there is no additional on that. So with that being said, that is the first this will be the first reading, and with that, I would like to skip down a little bit and to discuss um, with this, we're going to have a couple topics on the special called meeting for October because we got it's important that we have to get that done in a time frame, so that date would be when, giving them time. Water yeah. You said after the 14th, I think it was. And it's saying it's been that the same rate, 22.8, which is on this ordinance since 2018. Yeah, it's and we're not allowed to go any higher. Right. So, what date should we put on that then? Past the 14th. Well, on. Um, the ordinance 2305, we just had a first reading, and that's all we can do on that. We can go on and vote on the watercraft rate at 22.8. Okay, my bad. We can't do anything else on the first reading. This will come back again at the special call meeting. So that, that the, second reading. The, the special call meeting would be for property tax, then? For, for, well, anything that you put on there, because we got a couple of Yeah, we got a couple of things. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Got ahead of myself. We'll discuss that here in a minute. Okay, um, next we have the um, lagoon repairs. Chris, do you care to um, discuss what what's going on here on this? 
Okay, uh, I'll urge, sir, we got backwash lagoons that comes that holds uh, our backwash water from our water plant. At that blowgun down here behind Jarvie Market, they're supposed to be cleaned out yearly, but the valves have been broke for almost 20 years. They haven't been able to be drained, cleaned, repaired. Uh, we've actually worked with the county a few times trying to get an excavator in there, dump trucks. And they've done, and they've and they've done a lot. quite a bit of it. But they're still to, so I met with both with Littrell and Sons to get a price on getting all the pipes repaired where we, we don't have to go through all this all, all the time. And we, we also got in trouble over it also through the state. And it, we got to April to find a way to repair these. But, uh, let's see. They, and, we, uh, and we did, for the record, we did take sealed bids and we had it advertised. And, um, I met with Luttrell's and they gave us a couple options that we've got here to repair them. But the, the biggest part of it is they have to get them completely drained. So we can't just dig them all, you know, dig them out most of the way. They have to be completely swept dry. So we had to have a, a suction truck come in and, and clean them out. Uh, we have a bid right here from Luttrell's and for $331,000. 240 bucks. And that's the, the repair of all the drain pipes, lines, clean them out, and they'll be tip top shape. The state will be happy with us. And there won't be any fines come April. And that, that is one of the things that I will say we will get, it, we will get written up again if, if yes. it's not fixed. Because, um, hey, you're saying the 8 inch. Yes, they yeah, yeah, yes. What's this bottom cost down here? For well, this? they didn't realize that they couldn't bring an excavator in, you know, and dip them all the way out because they got clay linings in them. If they get into the clay linings too much, they can leach out into the river. And then we have the uh, core engineers we got to deal with, and fish and wildlife is going to come down the fire. So you're saying option four is off the table now? Yes, option three and four are both are off the table. Okay, and that's because we can't. Yes. All right. That we've we've gotten that down as far as we can go. If we go any deeper, we could cause damage, and it could be more than this. Okay. Probably looking at probably a half a million. You're not far from it, are you? No. <laughs> And so they're they're behind Charlie's Market. Yes, and they're, and they're not sewer lagoons. They're actually the waste that's left over from where we backwash the filters. So it's quite it's clear treated water that goes down to them, but they got they do have chemicals in them. So that's the reason if it leaches out to the river, we can get in trouble. All right. If we do this work, is this going to be a yearly thing that they're going, or will this cover a lot of? Well, you're staying the road for a while. Now this is what's happened. We there's valves down there that we can drain them, clean them ourselves. It don't cost nothing, but they've been broke since 2006. So and they've had uh, E and R trucking in there, and they reached out there and they actually broke some of the pipe when they tried to fix clean them out, and that's what caused a lot more of the issue. So after this, we can drain them ourselves yearly, keep them up. But so we've actually uh, have a budget set aside to clean things out, but they haven't been done. Okay. So why is the eight inch? Am I reading this right? The eight inch drain is. Well, uh, until they can get it un uh, uncovered, they don't know if it's a six inch or an eight. Inch. They said it could. The price could differ. Be different. Yes. Okay. Upon on the, the eight inch is your five. worst case scenario. The six inch is the good, better case. Okay. And I, and I will say this is a hard hit, but I'm I'm saying it again. These these are issues that's been passed down the buck. Yes. And, and it's time to address these situations. Um, it's not a topic that nobody wants to discuss, but we got to move forward. So moving forward, mm -hmm. if we fix it, we have all the equipment, yes. experience, yes. knowledge that 
be able yeah, to this, continue? This one, this one never happened again. So as long as you're employed, right? Yeah. And they get this work done by April? And yes, they said about a two month time frame. Okay. At, at, from whenever they start. We need a motion on this. I need a motion, but I will I will uh, suggest that we take it out of occupational. Um, yeah. Out of occupational. So I, I need a motion to accept this bid. Uh, of whatever one you all decide to go with. Can they? Well, can it can be contingent upon which one's needed? Mm -hmm. We make that motion yeah. based on whatever. Yeah. If they find a least expensive option, mm -hmm. can that be written in the motion? Like, I don't know. I make a motion to accept. Well, we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to come back like on the. We, we don't want to. We don't want to pay for an eight hundred dollars Yeah, and they will make that adjustment. Yes. Right. right. So the motion maybe read, make a motion to accept the Luttrell and Sons bid based on their assessment if it needs to be a six inch or an eight inch or eight foot pipe according to their assessment. Right. And the money out of and the money out of occupational tax. Cool. Tony second. And basically, what you could put in there, option one and option yeah, two based on yeah, that. It should be so yeah. And then you put that price on yeah. each one of them. Yeah, we, we've option been trying one, to work on it well, ever since Jordan and then, was here. Yeah, and no. then the option two. Um, and that way we have it in the minutes and we can reflect back on that if yeah. something happens. Uh -huh. Now, you, you said that we have uh, funds already set aside. Is that for just a upkeep maintenance? Yeah, upkeep and maintenance, and maintenance for yearly. yearly. Yes. Okay. Do we know how much is in there right now? Uh, I'm sure I, no. No, 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 off the top of your head, but okay. It's not close to that. Oh, we no. are close to that? No, we're close? No. 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 It's a small amount, but it don't usually if it was everything was working right, it doesn't take much it don't really cost any money wise. So it's more like manpower dollars? Yeah, more manpower. Okay. Be so, part of the daily schedule maintenance down there. I mean, mm -hmm. how much will this save us in fines? Just out of curiosity. So this last one, it started out at seven thousand, yes. and we t we we counter offered to the twenty five hundred. Yeah. I think it yeah, was. around twenty five. So we had to talk to Frankfurt on the phone. We counter offered. But we it's, emailed it's them. Court and how they how it, how we react to it. Them. Yeah. Because if we don't get. Uh, they, they gave us a checklist of stuff we have to get done before April yep. in our meeting. And if we don't start showing progress and that we're working towards it, the fines can, according to what's going on and how severe they are, can get into six figures. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it, it's you know, it's it's our drinking water. Yeah. It's it a is. pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It is. And if we don't start showing progress yeah. they're gonna start levying yeah. the fines too. Yeah. We don't need a we don't and they need, need the money up there. And and they think we're sweet do. So. Okay. Do, so. you, do you have like a schedule if this gets approved if whenever Lutchels can start on it? Uh, they said they can start on it fairly quickly. Okay. Uh -oh. So I, that's what I was asking because I don't want them to wait till like February or yeah. March, you know, and then well, he told yeah, me right now is basically the time to try yeah. to get in and do it. And yeah, I think he said that this is kind of their slower time of the year, okay. and that they're a little bit slower, so they can just kind of jump on it when they don't have no big projects going on and get it knocked out fairly quick. Well, I, I hope this would go up to one of their big projects. Yes. Yeah, right? yeah. So. Yeah, I'll make sure it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know him personally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have a motion and. Second, do you do you all would y'all like to hear how the uh, motions read? No, they know. She's like, no, they know. Don't even mess with me. All Wait, right. Do we have a second? Yeah, I want her to read. <laughs> uh, second by Mary Bell down there. It'll sound just right when you're at the computer. Yeah. Okay. All you. in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like so. Motion carries. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Chris, do we have like a? Do you have like a? A monthly like PMS schedule for things that we are required to get done, or do you have like some kind of tracker for all of our equipment and stuff down there? That no, but that was something that we was talking about with George about getting maybe like a computer program down there that way we could keep up with maintenance 
when, and it would come up to show when there's things to be done. And that way, nothing gets behind on us. Yes, exactly. That's what I was looking and for. It, yeah, and there's a lot of updates that they still continuously need. Mm -hmm. um, so that is something that we can work on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, going back to the special call meeting. Uh, what? You got your phone. The, the next Thursday is the... the uh, right here. It's, it's the fifth. It, that Chris will be available if the council is available. And you can do all three of your things on and still be on Thursday if everyone can do that on October 5th. Okay. Is, uh, it, is everybody okay with the special call meeting being October the 5th at 5 o'clock? When? October the 5th. Out of town. I'm just bringing my girls with me. <laughs> what day of the week is it? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Be the Thursday. <clears throat> okay. And that's, we'll have, we, it'll be pretty quick meeting. A couple things on the agenda. It won't be very long. Will that be our October meeting? No. Oh, okay. No. We got to have this done before we can send taxes out and stuff like oh, that. Okay. So. All right, so that's official. That will be October the 5th, special call meeting at 5 o'clock. Okay, uh, for the council's acknowledgement, um, I made the appointment of uh, John Johnson uh, serving a uh, four-year term for the Board of Adjustments. Uh, Teresa Beck has resigned, so... Uh, he will be the replacement on that. So that's just the acknowledgement for the for the council. Did you get him on for the planning and zoning board yet? Uh, no. So I I was corrected on it. It was the board of adjustments. Oh, okay. Yes. So what, oh, okay. So it's the board of adjustments. It's not All the right. planning and zoning. So. Okay. And I talked to John and Jeff's the one, actually the one that found I found him to serve on it. And these are. These are unique in itself because it, they got to have the training hours and stuff like that. Uh, I talked to Lisa earlier. Getting people to serve on these boards is co coming hard, almost far in between. And I feel like if we can sit down sometime and discuss maybe doing a kind of a payout type deal to get these people to serve a little bit. I know other communities are doing it. I know the regional wastewater is paying their board members a little bit something. I mean, it's just come the time. I think we're going to have to do something because we got some boards that are not even showing up. And so we need to start implementing these a lot more than they have been. Um, that's basically all I have uh, for informational. The, the governor will be here October the 9th at 3 p.m., uh, he will be issuing us a check for the uh, Gillespie Street project, which is the water tank. And so I, I encourage all the council to come if they if they will. Um, Did you say three? Yes, three o'clock. It's where? It'd be at the community center. Okay, three o'clock. October the ninth. October the ninth. Yes. The Monday at three. Yeah. Columbus Day. He's gonna come and in on the community center. Is it? It's Columbus Day. Yes. I guess so. Okay. He's get. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yep. October <laughs> 9th, 3, 3 p.m. Yes. So yeah. Um, if anybody wants to come and uh, get up there, get some pretty little pictures taken by all means. Um. I think it's good that we're getting this. Are you going to post them on Facebook and everywhere so oh, everybody yeah. will know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll get them. We'll get them. <laughs> we'll get them. We'll show them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Does anybody have anything? Does Jason need to process the truck being sold out from under him? The truck that we were going to buy, we said we to talk to him. Everything was fine. We had to send them down payment. As long as we stayed in touch with them, it was ours. Well, we're always trying to get, still working on trying to get, you know, a cheaper shipping quote. 
are looking at going and getting it ourselves. And the Tuesday, Tuesday, last Tuesday, I was on my way home, Marissa called me when I was sitting down. <laughs> that the guy called her daughter, that they saw the truck out front her, and they made up all the excuses there was, you know. But so, and I mean, I offered to send something to hold it. So we've been on the hunt again. I thought I found one, talked to the mayor. They sent pictures, they sent pictures over today to Marissa. And when I viewed the pictures that they did show on the Facebook, or on the, was on Facebook and market, or truck paper and stuff, the bed was just pretty well I, shot. I didn't feel, I wouldn't buy it for myself, so I wouldn't want to buy it for here. You know, that's the way I look at it. So I'm still on the hunt. I mean, worst comes worst, we'll still use, you know, I'll make it happen, we'll get our lead picked up. Even if we have to Fred Flintstone, we'll get it done. <laughs> And if our garbage, you notice know, a while back, our garbage truck went down, it would just shut down. The drop of that is, I called the road foreman, which is, you know, one of my best friends, said, hey, I need my truck to Evansville tomorrow. Is there any way to get it there? So he moved his schedule around for them, and they hauled it for free to load it up. Uh, Chad went with the, other, with the driver. They hauled it to Evansville for us for nothing. And that's one of the things that I'm proud to say that in our, a lot of our interlocal agreements that we have, uh, if they need something from us, we, we, we do what we can. County does the same thing as, as well as County Water. They've helped us out in a lot of times. Um, and it, it's important to have that working relationship with everybody. So. And I've got their other truck sitting in there right now. Yeah. And uh, the road foreman spent several hours with us Saturday. Helping us get the playground equipment set and stabilized to go have a minute through there. We're working on it. It's a slow process. I will have to say that I appreciate you all. He, he, he'll tell me to come up there and check it out, and then I'll just say, Well, I got to go. Because <laughs> it has been. Here we go. We had it has been it. aggravating for him. But so. the county had the skid steer and the auger. So I went to the ones around the room to bits. We, you know, I called around and found the cheapest price on the bits. I called, we used to be heard when we bought the mini. It's McCoy now. They wanted $75 a day per bit. So we wound up finding Sunbelt over there and we got them at a reasonable price. We got them all dug in one day. So that's done. And uh, I said, I'll continue to look for a truck. And when I find one, I'll contact you. But like I said, I'm just not. I mean, you can buy them, but I'm not going to spend fifty to hundred thousand dollars for a truck that we're you know only going to use right. certain times of the year. So. Right. Appreciate it. Also, notice that modern women donated yes. gravel and rock. Yes. Modern women donated forty-two, 42 and a half tons yeah. of rock. Usually, when they donate the money, percentage of that is a haul bill. Here again, I use my contacts. I got two triaxle loads of rock. Spray, which we got to drag it down. He's got pumps and stuff up there because but he was busy that day. But he, I said, I need it to be this tickets has got to be this day. So he pulled them off to enough to bring us two tracks of loads of rock. All right, and we didn't pay no hot bills, so we got the full amount of money. And they're working on trying to look at some getting some mulch for, yeah, for us as well. stuff, even maybe some stuff down so. town. And then not next week, but the week after that is cleanup week. Yeah, so. so. Appreciate you all. Okay, um, I don't have anything else. Um, what are the dates for cleanup week? Days that end in Y. The days that end in Y. Hmm? The night to the fourth. Throw him out. Hey. Throw him out. <laughs> Whatever fall break is for the school, that's the week we do. Well, I don't go to school, the so I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I got kids. The night to the fourth. Yeah. Fall break moved up. <laughs> <laughs> the Thank you. Yes, yes, we don't Order. We'll continue to take a look to get off. Okay. Um, Jeff, do you have anything? I have nothing for discussion. No. Lisa, do you have anything? No. Station. Uh, thanks, city workers, for getting the corn stalks and the hay bales. And me and my girls plan to put bows on them this weekend. We'll see. Hopefully, weather cooperates. Um, I had brought it up to bow. They're having a liquidation sale at Town Square Mall tomorrow. Um, They're headed over there. Okay, yay. I just wanted somebody to go with a credit card and a truck, and I can't get off work. So 
Thank Christmas, big huge stuff. Thank big flower pots. <laughs> I'm the city decorator, so. You might want to take some weapons with you. Oh, uh, I know. It's, they'll tell them it's probably going to move back. I told them I wanted the blocks. I just wanted oh, the blocks. Oh, and the blocks. Yeah, the big blocks. I have to have them. I bet, I bet the chair and the teddy bear is gone. Seriously, Yeah, yeah, I'll do a pan pan. Bye. I don't know how much we're willing to pay, but. But if you saw the pictures, like the big, huge ornaments and things, we, we could hang them. I know Beaver Dam's going to be there. I know Center Town's going. And all their mayors are going. They so. said they won them last night. Those ornaments. Oh, they did. Camping out. Um, well, yeah, maybe you should go tonight. In I'll bring you snacks. Go tonight. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I don't think the mall has any air conditioning in it right now. So, uh, yeah. So get, get them really aggravated, and then you'll get what you want. <laughs> Be ready to <laughs> gouge, shank, whatever you got to do. All right. I agree. Okay. Are you all really going tomorrow? Are you all going tomorrow? Yes, <laughs> ma'am. I don't want anything. I, I got if I can me. break away, I'll text you and say, where are you at? Um, Reinforcement. I was going, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Just get the blocks. That's all I want. Just get the blocks. <laughs> blocks, ornaments, big old flower pots. That's my wish list. I just, I just so. want the blocks. Um, Bad trust y'all's judgment. Do what you can do. Jerry. I have someone brought to my attention to check to see if it's available and if it could be done. Uh, and all the trees along Main Street, if we could put white lights in them. I said, I don't even know if we've got the lights or if they're even available or not. Well, like Christmas, just wind the, yeah. our little trees with yeah. white lights? They make those ones that you can... Like a bush? Yeah. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll get Marissa on that one as well. <laughs> and I, I, since we're talking about Christmas, I know that we're jumping the gun, Jason. But when you get those big old ring things out of wherever they are, let me check the bows before you hang them up. Make sure they survive. Because that was cheap, kind of inexpensive ribbon last year. New Christmas lights are here. Oh, okay. So, uh, still going down there. The big old uh, four foot wreath thing, so, that I had bows on that you put on each light pole. It should be inspect them. He just thumbs up, like. I know, just let me inspect them, <laughs> inspect them for you. I'll be out. It's me. I'll be out. I'll be out. I'll be out. But okay. I will have my phone. Man, that damn snow, you'll have something to remember. Okay, thank you. Like I said, we're, right now, once the concrete set up, it's just a slow, steady process. Another mic, two, two trucks, we've been working a lot of hours on it, but it's showing progress. Course, what about, uh... Kids went up there night, we poured concrete and left, put the feet in it, and shut one of the poles loose. <laughs> I'm going. But we went to Lowe's there and I went and thought, I need 150 bags of that sack cream bed, so then I'm like, that's a good one. I said, no, I need 150 bags of sack cream. What about, uh, Corey Brown texted me about pumpkins, I think. Okay. Are, are we doing, are we? That's a good Closer to fest, maybe, where people won't destroy them. Okay. It looks pretty for a while, okay. I think, in some moments, maybe. Um, considering we're all decorating here. I'd order these from Johnson's Signs and Trophies. They are big, thick, like, yard signs. They're not wooden. I was wanting the wooden feel like Greenville has with these big, huge pumpkins that are four by five. So three of these should be available pretty soon that we could stick in some of the hay bales, maybe put in the yard at the courthouse. Uh, Meredith wanted some scenes, like some selfie scenes yeah. for our Oktoberfest. So these are coming. And I think they quoted me like 30 something a piece, maybe. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Here's what I wanted though. This is made out of wood. Yeah, you showed me that yeah. one. I love that. I'll get all right. on that for next year. When Marissa talked to our uh, county rep for a third party, he said if we have any more projects coming up, which we still might need some more in the front, of the is, they're willing to donate rock also. So then again, if we can do that, then I'm going to have. Yeah. He said get naked in the hall, but yeah. That'd be good. It's something he said he wanted to get back to communities. So cool. We, you know, that, that door opened up for that one. We nice. asked him about it. We had, they had a certain amount of dollar amount to spend, so I had Marissa call him, and he figured it down to the tonnage and told him what was going on up there, so that's how she got in contact with him. Yeah. 
Uh, I know one time you said that we had new fence. You know the old fence there that's on Smith Street, and it just is it possible to take that down? I know you said before we had. We got one row of fence. It does look terrible. Yeah. Uh, and is it? Do we want to put another fence up? Uh, for safety aspects, I feel like it would be yeah, important. Yeah, to, to, I mean, I for the kids. Me. So. Yeah, Frankfurt, that's what they said. Even if this is something small, what it does is it, if a parent gets after a child, it just slows them down. They get them They got to stop. Yeah. You figure out how to get over or around. That's the deal. Yeah. And, and, I, and I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah. And so here's another. You know the. Uh, the driveway, the gravel there that's by the basketball court, you know, is there some way that we could maybe put a, a gate or a cable up there to keep the cars and things from pulling in there? And, and we're having that a lot. I know when they practice ball and stuff, that's part yeah. of where, but up for work the other day, they're pulling up into the yard, we're sitting there, and of course we're smoking, throwing our cigarette butts out and everything yeah. else. And, but yeah, we could do something to uh, put something up to keep them from driving. Yeah, because yeah. So, I mean, and of course, we've talked about and put it in the uh, the grant to have that basketball court we've done, and so I just want to keep vehicles off the basketball court yeah. and all up in there. And if we wind up purchasing, I know we're working on purchasing that property. We could actually move the driveway over and give us a better some way we follow it. Whatever we're doing, we're playing basketball. Yeah, we right. Yeah, that needs to be something. Yeah, four years after. I said, yeah, yeah, burn it. Just, and yeah, even it's a boat ramp. We fix it, they go down and do donuts, and they go to the park and do donuts, and they go up there and they do donuts. And it's just, they just want to tear stuff up. They went in the other night and beat all the locks off and threw the toilet paper out in the yard and the dispensers out in the yard and put all the toilet, or paper towels in the toilet flush. You know, for nothing. Did, did we ever... Can we not get cameras out yeah, there? Yeah, that's what we're... We talking. are... Brent's working on that right now. Uh, and he, I think, he already has purchased. Good. Um, and they're, 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 they're they are working. They control it, but like we talked about, even a boat ramp. If they go up there, well, they see like if they see one of our police officers going to be there to assist or whatever, or they see him going somewhere on this side of town, well, they can run over and do this because that's happened before when we had an officer work here. Yeah. He patrolled the boat ramp and got a call, and when he come back, they went down there and. Got the materials list for pavilion. I think the second week of October. Yeah, so the pavilion should be done soon. We need we need big signs to say you're being watched. Yeah. Right now we got no trespassing and everything up around the playground equipment. Yeah. So there's open holes. You know, we got the fence up. Like I said, somebody they let them, they let their kids cross it the other day when I purchased. There was footprints everywhere. I had a toilet at the park that literally they. Like, Took a, yeah, and it and busted it all up, busted the toilet completely off the wall, and had to go in and replace everything. Good grief. Okay, Mary Bell, do you have anything? Yes. I okay. Did. Uh, <laughs> ouch! I bet you what I'm for Jason. Okay. And I'm almost about to forgive but Oh. You asked us if we had suggestions for paving streets? Yes. Well, I've got one. All right, let's hear it. Washington Street. Right out here in front of the building and all the way down. I've got a price on that. Good. And I'm trying, that's another one I'm trying to get the county to be involved in because that, that that's the, it offsets the road with the parking. Right. So I'm trying to get them in in, in that and I'll follow back up with that one. But I agree, I would love to have it all the way around the square. Yes. Um, well, it really needs to Because it's the face, it's the face. It's awful. So. You've got to do something in front of the museum if y'all look at it. Yes, it's, it's bad. bad. It is. Have y'all looked at the new sidewalks? Been... No, I haven't. Yeah. Where at? The one down here by Diane Lee's, we've done that one. And then we have one on uh, Rinder. Moonshine detail, it is actually fell and slid. Okay. And uh, we done it, and he gave me a price on it. Then when I met him up for that day, when we was doing the demolition, I had another square that was bad. I said, I don't want to fix this, and this be bad. Mm -hmm. And the 
and how it works on that, is, you know, we've done a three time match, is we do the demolition and get rid of everything. Because if not, he has to go rent the equipment, and that cost is going to be pushed right back to us. Sure. So it's cheaper. We got the equipment, we just tear it out. Sure. But we have to, we got it dressed up. I, well, I've been waiting for it to rain. So it rained a little bit today, and we're going to go back and dress them up and make it all look good. All right. Thank like you. Play got put up. Union being addressed. Hey. He got with them to get a quote on Union. Okay. Has he? Have, has he gave you that one back yet? On, on Union Street, the one that. No. There's a couple of places. Okay. Okay. He, I told him, and I'm not heard of Okay. Time. Just follow up with. Him, you know, we'll go with the with the wall. Right. Because it's he debatable might. on the wall if it's us. For the church. Yeah. And then on down Union, level, unlevel places, trip hazards, and then the inset, I guess they're... Um, huh? Have you? I guess I need to go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> I've noticed they've been fixed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, Perfect. Like that, I mean, I can't you know, I just let me know. Okay. So we'll get Good deal. Thank you. As soon as we can, because you might see something that we don't, or, you know. Right. I've got one other thing, Jason, you can work on. Okay. Uh, I was approached by a biker, a lady who rides bikes all the time. I'm wondering if the city had ever been approached or considered using the old railroad tracks for a bike trail. Then we talked about going out to the park and all that, and part of the problem bikers want their territory and walkers want their territory and never the twain shall meet maybe but I haven't talked to her since she brought me several books and I know there's several grants out there but to chase down the railroads I went and talked to the tax man tax assessor man and to chase down those railroads I was going to see what I could do it's a lot of work to try to find out who owns them and who has possession of them mm -hmm. and all this stuff and I don't know how far they really run huh King Ellis King I, I mean I just wondered if anyone had ever talked to anybody in the city we did all that work on that trails business we're still in the process of it's that. still in the process of it. Yeah. And I didn't know whether... I mean, I'm not pushing. I'm just asking if anybody's ever talked Paul to the Sanford. city about it. Paul Sanford probably tell you about uh, Paul Sanford's first stubbed his nose at this one. There was, well, I'm, I'm just talking about... They were looking at using railroads that are in the Beaver Dam area for things and look pretty deep into it. So I'm saying... He might be a reason. Okay. Okay. All right. But he told her no, they wouldn't do it. Well, they may not. Oh, but, oh, you oh, know, okay. and he might be right. But yeah. if you all, well, from you know, what I that road, you won't know. I called Frankfurt even and talked to a friend of mine that was up there, both in, in their mapping division and in transportation, and you know, it, it's not just a quite as simple as just and going out finding the yeah, vacant railroad. It, it also depends on whether or not the railroads own it or if it's falling back to the property. property right. If it's multiple. Yeah. You said that the alleyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The alleyway. Over here off yes. of Clay. Off of goes from Clay to Taylor. Yeah. Uh, when I looked at it, I'm going to talk to Mr. Boone. Uh, the house there beside of it. Francis Scoggins is actually set the way it looks. Yeah. From his pins are over there. So, I mean, okay. I can't find nothing. Yeah. And I mean, the best thing to do, you know, you talk to Terry, is just close it like we normally do and just give That's. I've got a list in my truck that I need to get to you. And, and, I and you, that even, you assess all of it. I come in here after looking at that when I talk to him. And I Sorry, said, Lisa. Somebody else coming in and talking to Lisa about the same thing behind it. His house. Okay. And it's your family. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, there's no, I'll talk to Chris, there's no utilities or nothing in there that would keep us from having a need okay. or anything like that. All right. Oh, we'll get to work on that but as I well. I just wanted to bring that up about the Yeah, trails. I've got it on my notes. And, well, um, 
You know, I think it'd be better if we knew if there were enough bikers in this area to really. I know, I know Tony's neighbor, he, he rides his bike a lot. Who? Rich Hudson, not doing it too much more now. So, no, he's walking on now because he's is he walking now? Okay. All right, moving on down to Tony. You got yeah. anything to bring forward? No. All right. Make a motion in <laughs> I got a first by, by Tony over there. A second. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. You two here, dogs. Tony and Tony. Station.